Hey everybody, Sean Tierney here with the Automation Minute, and in this episode, we're going to take a look at the original Control Logics processor, the L1. Now, if you take a look at this Control Logics processor, um, the original processor, the first thing you'll notice, and on the top, it says Logics 5550, and that's what they called this processor, the 5550. But a lot of people know it from its catalog number, 1756L1, and you can see here we got the RON, IO, RS232 Activity, OK, and BAT lights. And we also have a run remote program switch, and this is the same key that you'll find on the Slick 500s. So the same key works there. Now, if we open up the door here to the right, we can see a battery. That battery is used to back up the volatile memory of this module. And we have an RS-232 port for programming or for ASCII or DF1 communications. Now, this processor came out in 1999. You can see that's when the battery was put in there, so it's long dead. But... Um, if we take a look at the actual uh, label here, we can see the catalog number, 1756L1. Um, this particular model does not have any additional memory in it. You could buy them with additional memory, but this one does not have it. We can see the barcode number used for uh, warranty claims. This is well out of warranty. We can see the series and firmware rev it came from the factory at. And we can see when this was manufactured, July of 99. And uh, something else I want to show you is if you look inside, you can see a connector in there. I know it's hard to see here, but that connector is where you would plug in additional memory. So the L1 had the capability to be upgraded. You could buy it as a base model with 160K. Rockwell said that was like the equivalent of a, a Slick 503 um, as far as a comparable memory. Um, so uh, you could also buy it with either... Uh, uh, you know, a meg or two of memory. There was actually four memory sizes, so it went up to two megs of memory, which Rockwell said at the time was was about double what a PLC 580 could have. And um, that was nice, but the problem with that is all of that memory was volatile. This early model had no volatile, uh, no uh, non-volatile options. There was no EEPROM. There was no compact flash card. So you, very, you want to make sure you never your battery never went dead because uh, you would lose your program. So that's important to know. But this is, uh, you know, from 1999. It's the original Control Logics processor. And even though it was released back then, because every Control Logics processor supports um, Flash firmware, this unit actually supports all the way up to version 13 of Iris Logics 5000. So that's pretty cool. And uh, that's it for the 1756L1.